Hi, I'm Joy Lawrence. Welcome to my video introducing Maria Hinojosa. You're going to learn a lot about Hinojosa in her memoir, her childhood and growing up. So I wanted to use this video to talk a little bit about her inspiration. I also want to use this video to go over my expectations for the reading logs that you'll do for all of the assigned readings from her book. The sources that I use in this presentation are listed here on this page. I have Oprah Daily, this article titled Maria Hinojosa, I was the first Latina in every newsroom I ever worked in. This article from Slate, your guide to In the Heights, many cameos. An interview from Radio West called The Realities of Diversity, a conversation with Maria Hinojosa. And National Public Radio or NPR, another interview, journalist Maria Hinojosa tells Latinos, silenced voices, we need you. All right, let's begin. Hinojosa is well known for reporting the news while maintaining her identity. Sometimes she's felt that sense of imposter syndrome in her career, which she also talks about in her memoir that you'll read. Imposter syndrome is when you feel like you're not really qualified and soon everyone's going to figure it out. It's common among all of us, and it's inspirational to hear Hinojosa talk openly about it. She strongly believes that privilege equals responsibility. She also feels that she's in a position of power and privilege as a journalist, and she wants to use that power for good. One of Hinojosa's inspirations for speaking about diversity is her concern that racism is being purposefully taught. She doesn't like having to make people uncomfortable with her observations, but she can't stay silent when she sees injustice occurring. One of the common points in all of the interviews I've read and listened to is that she wants to encourage the unheard to own their voices. Inahosa believes that the anti-immigrant attitudes we see today are perpetuated by politicians and also mainstream media. She wants to be a voice in the mainstream media to offer an alternate perception to help dispel those myths surrounding immigrants and the hatred that goes along with those myths. She also wants to encourage people of color to enter journalism and other areas where their voices will be heard. Her advice, own your voice and don't give up. Here's a fun fact about Maria Hinojosa. She had a cameo appearance in Lin-Manuel Miranda's movie, In the Heights. I got all excited when I saw her in that movie. I didn't know she was in it. I don't want to talk about her part in the movie or the movie to spoil it for those who haven't seen it yet. But I do want to point out that her cameo is very small, so you have to pay attention to catch her in it. As a reminder, you'll complete a reading log for all of the assigned readings from Hinojosa's book. The whole purpose of these reading logs is to get you interacting with the text and thinking about her arguments. So let's go over to our Canvas course to take a closer look at these reading logs. Remember the best way to navigate my course is by going through the modules. Let's skip down to week two to take a look at the first reading log assignment. You'll see there's a page here for reading log expectations. I've included the reading log template on this page and a sample completed reading log from a previous student. So this is to help you. You'll use this template for every reading log you complete, so it'd be a good idea to download it and keep a blank version. Now you'll click Next to progress in the module to the assignment on the next page. Now, I remember I told you that I have provided the readings for the first weeks of two weeks of class. For Hinojosa's book, I've scanned in this chapter from my book, and you'll need to download it so that you can set it up, because otherwise you'll have to read it sideways. Once you've downloaded it, then you can flip it. You can see some notes that I have here, so you can get an idea of the kinds of things that stand out to me. Those same things don't have to stand out to you, but if you're curious, you can check those out. I do have this template linked on every reading log assignment. So let's go ahead and take a look at the categories in that. At the top, you'll need to include your name, the date, and the chapter of the reading that's covered for this reading log. You'll be asked to include five quotes, things that stood out to you. You don't have to put the entire quote, but you do need to include the first couple of words and the last couple of words and an ellipses in the middle to show the information that's missing. And I'll show you an example of that in just a minute. You'll also want to provide the page number of the quote and your own thoughts about why it stood out to you. Next, you'll include two disagreements you have with the author. If you agree with everything Hinojosa says, then you'll need to play devil's advocate. What might other people who disagree with Hinojosa say? You must list disagreements and not agreements for this section. 
Finally, include three vocabulary words that were unfamiliar to you in the reading. You'll put the word, the page number, where I can find that word, and a definition in your own words. I want you to put the definition in your own words instead of copying the dictionary so that I know you understand the meaning. If you know every word in the chapter, choose three words you can learn more about. Now let's go take a look at the sample. This is from a different book, but it'll still give you an idea of what I'm looking for. You can see how this student has the first couple of words in a quote, an ellipses to show that there's information missing, and then the last few words of the quote. So here we go. She has the first two words, then the ellipses, and an ellipses is three evenly spaced periods. And what it means is that there's more information that is missing from that quote. Then the last couple of words provide the page number. And so I can go in and find that in the book if I wanted to. You'll also want to include your analysis over here in the right hand column. Make sure to provide full analysis and not only a couple of words. The more you provide now, the more help these reading logs are going to be to, for you when you write essay number three. Here you can see the disagreements that the student had with the reading and the vocabulary words that they included. I hope this video has provided some useful information into Maria Hinojosa. I also hope that I've cleared up any questions that you may have had about my expectations for the reading logs. If you do have any questions, make sure to email me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.